Hi guys, today we're going to talk about five of my favorite Kittle features. Kittle is a design app that I use to help support me in making designs for my print-on-demand Etsy business. I create designs for shirts, mugs, and totes, and I never have to touch the items myself because my POD, or print-on-demand partner, prints up the designs that I make in Kittle, and they ship them out to the customers that find me on Etsy. Some of these features you might have heard before, but I'd be willing to bet that I'll have at least one new thing for you, and I would be super surprised if you have ever heard the customer service tip that I'm going to give you with number five. Let's jump right into it. Number one, templates. This is something that saves me a ton of time and we've got tons of fantastic templates to choose from on Kittle. Let's jump on the computer and I'll show you. Here we are on Kittle right here in the opening screen and this is trending searches here. I'm clicking on skull and right here we have all of their templates that have something to do with a skull. And I'm clicking on retro now. We'll take a peek at some of their retro templates. So this is just one way that you can search Kittle's templates. I'm going to show you another way in a moment. Uh, the last documented number I saw was 1,000. And that was back in August on how many templates that Kittle has. I would imagine it's a lot more now. Here I'm clicking on dog and we'll see what they have in terms of a dog. Uh, let's go ahead and click on one of these. So we're going to click on this one and we're going to do something with this. I can use, I can move each of these elements, change them and do something different with them. This Christmas tree element is all together because the person that put this template together used one graphic for that. A lot of times you'll have graphics like that and the dog will be movable. The Christmas tree will be movable if it was different pieces. Now I can change the text to whatever I want. So we're going to write Happy Holidays instead. So you, the idea is that you can take the template and you could do different things with it and make it different, unique, and special. Here we are in our artboard and I can go over to the left. The second little icon is the templates icon. And this is another way I can get to the templates. I'm going to go to t-shirt templates and now I'm going to do a search term. I'm going to search Christmas and it's going to pull up all those Christmas templates. This is the part I can sometimes get lost in. Lots and lots of choices here. A lot of times I'll choose something and I'll make it scalable. So I'll quickly get a bunch of designs out of it. Like let's say I'm working on teacher items and then I can scale it from kindergarten through fifth grade or eighth grade or into subject matters. Here we're going to grab this one and I can change the text. I could change graphics if I wanted to. It's got that ugly sweater look which is really popular. And we are going to make this kind of a group listing with one design, Miller Christmas. So we're making it the family name and now I'm going to add the year. If you don't have any listings in your shop that are the family's last name and the year, you might want to try some. Families love to pick these up at Christmas time and the whole family winds up wearing this shirt. So you could make it a, you know, make a group sale. You might sell five or eight or 12 shirts all with one quick order. I've gone into layers. We do want to take that green background off and make it transparent. So I'm going to put it at 0% opacity because when we download this, we wouldn't want a big green block behind our design. Here we can see that we have a little Kittle watermark, but when we click on that, we can't remove it because I'm using the free version of the app right now. In order to remove that, we would need to be using the paid version of the app. I do have another video where I really go into using templates on Kittle and how it saves me a lot of time. I will link it down in the description below in case you would like to watch that video next. Let's also take a second down in the description and I'll show you how to access a special deal that they reached out and provided our audience with. Now, when I originally signed up for Kittle, I was looking for a deal and I was scouring the internet to see if I could find a coupon code of sorts. Couldn't find one anywhere. So I don't think they offer these that often. They've offered us a, a couple and it's always been just for a couple of days. So when they asked if I wanted it, I said, sure, I'll share it with my audience. You're going to get $15 off a plan if you choose to go with them. You can always start out with their free plan, but they are offering us the $15 off 
with the coupon code Shauna when you use the link down in the description below. This coupon code will be good until November 1st. Let's go real quick and I'll show you how to do that. The last time I mentioned this, some people had a hard time navigating to figure out exactly how to apply that. First, we'll go down into the description and we'll click on the Kittle link. You might be able to still use the promo code Shauna and not use my Kittle link and just Google them. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to go sign up in the right. You're going to fill out this information and create your free account. I hit inspiration when I originally did this. In the top right corner, you'll see a spot that says subscription. That's what you'll click. We've got the pro and expert plans here, and the pro is probably good for most of us. The pro plan goes from 120 to 105, and the expert plan goes from 288 to 273 when you apply the promo code Shauna. Next Kittle feature we're going to chat about that made my top five. Number two, wavy text. And this is the feature that prompted me initially to look into Kittle. I was looking for a way to create designs with wavy text. And all of the ways that I experimented with it were taking a long time. I was actually really late to the wavy text designs as a result of just not having an app or design app that it was easy enough to create. One of the best ways to grow your business, your online POD business, put on demand business, is to make sure that you're creating designs with a trending look. This is a very trending look and it's not going anywhere soon. So if you don't have designs with wavy text, I would suggest adding designs with wavy text into your listings. I do have a full tutorial on this and I will link it down below in case you really need a step-by-step. -step. But here I've already got my text and I picked my font. I went to distort text under transformations and then I, can, I always go to the middle dot and I can slide it around and then I can use kind of this teeter-totter on either side of that middle dot to create that wave effect. I can go to the corners and I can pull them up or pull them down and I can play with that a bit. Once I've done the top, I can go down and do the bottom. I'm just going to create some space down here to pull the word Christmas up into. Again, I always start with that middle dot. I use my teeter-totter dots to create that wave. As I pull one side down, the other side lifts up into that wave or that arch. Once I like the way Mary is, I can go down and click on Christmas. I wanna pull the word Christmas up into the space I created under Mary. I start with that middle dot. I can slide the dots along the blue line. So I just kind of slid it over and over the R so I could pull the R up, up into there. I can also slide the teeter-totter dots, as I call them, on either side. I could slide them along the blue line to kind of get the H and the S and the T where I would like it to be. Once I've played with this and like where I have the middle of my word going, I usually then go and play with my corners and then I'll go and I'll fix the bottom of the line. But this is probably, well, it's definitely the easiest, fastest way I have found to do wavy text. So now I'm all about the wavy, wavy text and I can make these designs rather quickly. Next up is number three, but before we flip that card, if you are enjoying this video and you feel like you're getting some value from it, if you wouldn't mind taking a minute to boop the like button, that would really mean a lot to me. Number three, shaped text. I just recently got into shaped text because of Kittle and it is such a cool feature and you could do some really leveled up designs with shaped text. I did do a video recently that dives deep into exactly how to create these. I'm going to cover it quickly now for the purpose of this video, but I'll also leave that video linked down below if you need more of a how-to tutorial step-by-step -step of how to do it. This is easily one of the best ways to level up your designs and to stand out from the rest of the market. Not everybody is going to take a minute to learn how to do the shaped text and it does sell well. I've only thrown a couple of these into my shop and each of them has grabbed traction because it is something different and helps people to stop scrolling and take an interest in your design. I grabbed this fun graphic from Creative Fabrica, my favorite spot to get graphics, and I just dropped it into Kittle, and then I was able to put it on my artboard. I went and clicked on, at the upper left, Add Headline to get my text boxes, and now I'm just placing them in the middle of these glasses, and that's where I'm going to create my shaped text. 
All I'm going to do is replace the word headline with the words I want. We're going to do dead tired. I'm going to size this inside the glasses and kind of just turn it a little bit until it looks like I can shape it to fit the glasses. I am going to use the same thing that we did for the wavy text. I'm going to go to transformations and hit distort. And this time, instead of trying to shape it like wavy text, I'm using the middle dots to just pull the word into the different places of the shape. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I've done this with different types of objects. I'm just using glasses, sunglasses here as my example, but you could do this with just about anything that has nice spaces to fill up within it. And it definitely brings up your designs a notch. Not everyone's going to take the time to learn to do this. And most people are going to write these words underneath or above the graphic. So it's just a really easy, cool way to level up. I do have a video where I go into detail and give some other examples of how to do the shape text with some other shapes. And I will also leave that down below in the description. And the fourth fantastic feature is fonts. Try to say that five times fast. There are 180 different fonts to choose from in Kittle, all of which when you do have the paid plan, you're allowed to use commercially. You can also upload your own fonts, but you'd want to make sure that you have commercial usage rights to those before placing them on items that you're selling. You can search by these different categories at the top here, and I'll share three of the fonts that I really like with you. Sunny Drop is one of my go-to fonts. I all It's got kind of that retro look to it. I also have been liking Creepster for like the Halloween period of time here. And that actually looks pretty fun on our design here inside the glasses. Really cool. And the last one I'm going to show you is this Lolita one. I've also been liking that. Notice all three of these are really bold fonts. That's my go-to. I really like those bold fonts that are easy to read. You can see them from a thumbnail. And I'm thinking this one, it looks better in caps. So I just went ahead and capitalized that. But three great fun fonts plus tons more in Kittle. Number five, last but not least, my fifth favorite feature of Kittles. And this one comes with a customer service tip that I would be very surprised if you have heard before. But before we jump into it, I just wanted to address something quickly. I am going to be pushing out another video later this afternoon with my thoughts on what's currently happening in the Etsy community right now with the mock-ups, with shops getting shut down. If you haven't heard, there's a lot of confusion amongst Etsy sellers because there are some shops or listings that have been deactivated in worst case scenario, some shops that have been shut down because what it's looking like is mock-ups. Now, that's all I'm gonna say about that for the moment because this video isn't about that content, but I just wanted to let you know that I will be sharing with you what my take is on everything and what I'm doing to just move forward in the safest way possible and in a way that makes me be able to sleep at night and feel all right. So if you don't want to miss that, I will be releasing that later today. If you don't want to miss that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you get alerted when I push that out today. Okay, number five, you can quickly and easily create a vector file with Kittle. And how on earth is this a customer service tip? So a vector file is a file that can be resized, made very large, very small, to the best of my understanding, without losing quality. I first became aware of vector files because when I was a school teacher, we would have shirts made every year for the teachers and the grade level of students to wear. And whenever we were submitting the artwork, it had to be in vector file format which was over my head at the time because I wasn't into t-shirts. I had absolutely no background in any of this that I'm doing now. But after I got involved with t-shirts and I was still teaching, my school had asked me to create the design for the printer so that they could use it and print through our local printer who was cheaper than going through print on demand. But when I was done with the design and sent it over to the room mom that was responsible for making all of that happen, she wound up coming back to me and saying, oh, it's got to be a vector file, which I had no idea about any of that because all I knew is what I needed to know. And I just would do my PNG files. And I just knew that I had to have a PNG file in a certain size and that I could send that to Printful or to Printify and they were able to produce my shirts for me that way. 
I never did at that time figure out how to make it a vector file. That room mom wound up reaching out to someone and getting it figured out. But moving forward with my business, I was aware that sometimes print shops, local print shops would ask for a vector file because of that experience. And if something happens with a customer's order, I wanna do the best I can to have them still have a good experience and make them as happy as possible. So if they have ordered shirts for an upcoming event and the shirt arrives damaged, there's a misprint, it's faded, something's wrong, I made, I made a mistake with the size, whatever it is, whether it's the print shop's mistake or my own, sometimes there's not enough time to get the customer that shirt reprinted and sent in time for their event. So one of the things I often do is offer to send them the PNG file. I ask them, of course, would you like a refund on this? Do you want me to try to get it to you? This is the estimated delivery window. I can also offer to send you the PNG file with a transparent background. Perhaps you have a friend with a Cricut machine or a local printer that can print it up. And this has saved me numerous times because even if they're not going to go that route, they're very pleased that I've gone the extra mile, eight times out of 10, that I've offered to do this for them. And then I let them know that their local print shop might ask them for it in a vector format. In which case, I let them know, just reach back out and I can vectorize it for you and send it right on over. And just to be clear, I'm still sending them the refund because I can't get them that new shirt in time for their event. So I send them the refund and then on top of that, I'm offering to send them the PNG file so that they feel that I've done everything I could to help them be able to wear the shirt that they had planned to wear for their special event. Now you have a little customer service tip hack that will maybe get you out of hot water the next time you find yourself in that scenario. So let's jump on, I'll show you how to vectorize it real quick, it's super easy. This is another image I pulled right over from Creative Fabrica. Here in the second bar over here, we've got vectorizer, image vectorizer. You want to pull this little color tab over, otherwise you'll wind up with a black and white image. But because I pulled it all the way over, it'll still be colorful after it's vectorized. While we're here, I'll show you something else real quick. They're introducing something called Kittle Print, where you can actually design and print on one of their products that they're offering. And I'll show you how to get to that real quick if you wanted to check it out. It's not yet integrated with Etsy, and the prices aren't very competitive at the moment. But I thought it was interesting. We'll see how it pans out. You can go to export and print your designs. They've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, totes, and mugs right now. In the t-shirts, they have both Bella canvas and Gildan tees. And there are lots and lots of colors available. So just a fun, quick, interesting side note. There you have it, your five features, templates, wavy text, shape text, fonts, and vectorize a file. Don't forget, you also have a link down in the description so that you can get $15 off. That's good until November 1st. Keep hanging out with me in the next video, which I'll leave linked here in just a second, if you wanna learn how to do that shaped text and level up your designs. But of course, not until after that tip from Tucker. So Tucker, take it away.